Oh, yeah. it's TJ Dagger here. Here's the challenge. Basically, the situation is you have a waypoint on the map and you want to spawn, say, for this example, spawning trees. That point. We can get them to randomly spawn around that waypoint. That works very well. Nice flat ground. Wherever the waypoint is, going to randomly spawn them within that radius. Once we get to uneven ground, the height doesn't match up. They basically spawn. We put an offset on it. 500. Trees will... I'll start spawning in at the offset of 500. That's... Challenges to try and work this out. If we use the placement command instead, trees will press start. Trees will spawn wherever the waypoint is. The height matches up better. Somehow, we're looking for a solution where we can get them spawning in the radius randomly and at the right height. So what we're looking for is a solution that's going to give us This effect here, where we're getting everything at the right height. So the question is, how does that work? Okay, I'll run through it quickly. What I'm doing is I'm spawning the binoculars. The binoculars are an inventory item. They have a different set of properties to regular objects in that they're I'm now tied to ground height. But once I spawn the binocular, then I have three, which is tagged and hidden. Here I'll add a variety of trees. Problem is that straight off the bat, the only way to target it is to have tag so let's put a small delay in here where I delete the this up two seconds here Start. so you'll see I know is actually the binoculars falling to the ground then they are deleted by default, they're not tagged, but I've gone in and I've edited one of the uh, interaction files and I've added a few lines that automatically... I will just, I'll just show that. When you place binocular on the map, it now has that tag when it spawns. Um, simply because of the file I edited. So the file that's been edited, so basically I spawn the binoculars, then I place the tree, I use the tag that it's done at, and then I simply delete it before the next trigger spawns in, or it repeats. So, I've gone into, and I've done this all in Call to Arms, even though the question was originally proposed in Men of War, but it's the exact same concept. So, I've gone into the game logic folder, then into the set folder, interaction entity, then I've simply grabbed the dummy ink, and inside the dummy ink, I've added those lines there. So binocular, which is basically the name of the item, on spawn, which is basically a command, tags add binoc. That's all it is that's been added in there. 
that simply makes it so that that gets tagged that when they spawn in spawning at the different locations at the right height that works well and in basically that back to 0 0.525 you can put anything down on the map as workforce so you could do uh let's see get under construction military let's grab some sandbags Where are we? Sandbags. Yep, there we go. Tag them as tree and hidden. Start. Over here, couple units on the map. You can spawn all sorts of things in if you want. Okay, so that's basically how it's done.